Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Floris, a mod for Mountain Blade Warband. Now, we're at a bit of a stalemate at the moment. You see, we have the Nords here, and they are protecting Uxal with everything they can. And it means we can't do anything about it. We've got the Kurgic Canate taking territory around us, which again is annoying. But not something I'm too worried about. Now, yeah, we've got to take Uxal, and I can't siege it long enough to start depleting their food stores, because, of course, you know, the rest of the Nords come back. You know, they're not pushing out the take anywhere. So, we're at a bit of an impasse at the moment. I need a plan. I need a plan. I think the best way for me to do this is for me to get Marshall, have all of our forces group on me, and then I just, I destroy the enemy. I mean, I go and take Uxal by force. I mean, look, four of them there. I'll come back to Uxal. They're all still going to be there. Yeah. It's Ragnar's the problem, he's stuck in there, making it difficult for me to do anything. And if I siege the place, the defenders sally out to fight me, which again is frustrating. Just take my frustrating out on these Nords. Deserters, don't matter, they're still Nords. Oh, okay, we need a plan. We need a plan. just wanted to spread them out a little bit. Okay. They're dying nicely. Now then, I just need the rest of the Swadia. I need to be Marshall, that's it. There's no other way around it. I've got to be Marshall. I need to go find Lady Ursula. Or we wait until it's just given to me. I don't know how useful that would be, though. I mean, there's a lot of them there. Even 400 to face on the field would be tough. Yeah. Okay. Let's get away from here. We're only wasting time. And I don't want to take territory off the Kurgits because it just gives a chance for the Rodox to take it back later. Okay, 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 okay. We've just declared war against the Rodox. Maybe, maybe we can just continue with that. Maybe we continue with that for now while I wait. Because they're going to be, you know, laying siege to my territory against 600. Six hundred and thirty troops. Well, let's change this up a little bit. Move these down below my archers. Because, of course, the whole point of this. We want to take what territory we can. 
from the Rodox and try and just eliminate them. If the Kurjits take that back, that's fine. My only worry now is that the Nords are going to come and attempt to siege it as soon as we've taken it. Thus spreading out. That definitely wouldn't be good. That front gate open. We have to go for the front gate here. And I have a lot of people here, so I've got to be careful. Let's have a look. take that. Alright, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up, move up. My archers take down who they can. I think I need to get mine sort of on the battlements. So I'm just losing health. Alright, because I may end up going down at this rate, I'm going to have to send my troops up. Archers push up a little bit. I need those crossbowmen dealt with. I'm going to get shot in the back. Don't slip. We've got reinforcements now, so I need to get my people in position. Oh, Christ. just gonna get caught out. That was a terrible choice. I'll just move now, let them move back. Move. There we go. I 
Everyone pull back. Okay, now. Archers fire at will if you can hit. Hoping my archers can get enough enough view to do some damage to the enemy here. That would be good. What? The guy literally thrust his sword for another person to kill me. I hate it when that happens. Well, let's see how this plays out. We've got a lot of archers on that wall ready. The enemy has to pass this way. So at the very least, we can do some damage. They have shields. But we have crossbowmen, so... You never know. Yeah, the crossbowmen we've got shatter their shields, I hope. And eventually we're going to get reinforcements. See, a lot of them aren't going to go all the way because they're going to try and defend the top of the ladders. That's what they do. Some of them anyway. But they are getting close, good god. Although maybe if they can just get stuck there, that would be great because of that one guy. Who is not pushing forward? What do they have? Do they have archers or something? Where are their reinforcements coming from? Is it down below? Oh, I don't know. Eventually we'll get our own reinforcements, then we'll have our own pushing in. So this will work. Put that little ant down there. Go on, someone get him. Okay, this is getting better now because they're losing their shields, so this... Well, some are. A lot of these mercenary swordsmen, but they're just weak. Plus, if they kill any more of us, then that's it for them. <laughs> Something even worse comes up here. Keep dropping my troops. A couple more and reinforcements are here. Uh, they're not returning fire just yet. They're going to have to weather these waves. But this is going well. This is going very well. We'll take this castle and just do what we can to defend it. Fight the Rodox if necessary and then try to take some more. If the Kurgits want to come and take this land, that's fine. As long as we wipe out the Rodox. Then eventually I'm going to have to deal with the Nords. 
then again, I think I need to wait for Marshall ship for that. good. Few hits, no reinforcements yet. Come on. It's because they're stuck just fighting, fighting these guys all the time. It's fine though, they're kicking ass, but still. You're going to get stuck getting peppered by crossbowmen. It's probably where I'll seriously inflict casualties considering we don't really have shields. Or at least not many. But somewhere we will get reinforcements. That's what we're waiting on. Any time now. How many more of my people are going to fall? There we go. Can these guys hold out until they get there? That is the question. Let's have a look at who we've got coming. Is it the cavalry or is it even more archers? Because I did have a lot of archers listed there. My cavalry units now dismounted. Nope, it's archers, oh dear. Some cavalry, some infantry. But yeah, that's a lot of uh, <laughs> archers. Still though, that could work, that could work. We push them back. My infantry just keeps them held back a moment while my archers pepper them with arrows, you know. Oh god, we've got overrun up here. I mean, my troops are still stronger than what they're sending up, but still, it's not the point. It is not the point at all. Still though, as far as the kill-death ratio goes, we're doing a pretty damn good job. But I don't like how this is about to turn out. With my archers here. They can get a bit further up. Come on, infantry, get up here. Bloodbath. Alright, there we go. Sorted. Now come on archers. Fire. They're all running into each other, so not as many are shooting as, as they should. Still, this is this is going well, this is going well. I'm hearing a few more arrows now, so maybe, just maybe. Can keep this up, keep going. Slave Crusher doing a pretty damn good job. Oh, he was just killed, never mind. This is why I really need my archers to spread, but they won't. I could pull back and restart this, but I don't see much point in doing so. The enemy's got weak units. And they keep filtering up to us slowly, and my guys are taking care of them, so... These Rodok archers, though, are very strong. The Rodok archer units. Crossbow, sword, shield, and crossbows do decent damage anyway. So... It's nice. Is on the stairs here. Even more enemies are arriving. I'm going to have to go and get more troops. Reinforcements have arrived. Now, I've got to assume that this is my infantry now. 
So, this sh that should be the end of this. If these guys can just hold out a little longer, there's not many of them left. Most of them get stuck under the stairs. Still got a lot of archers. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, they finally overrun us. Oh, they're coming down to fight us. This will be interesting. Wait, are they are they still alive up there? They're still alive. Jesus! Look at them go! Alright, I think that may be the last of the enemy anyway. Nice! Seriously, that is nice. We've done a good number on them. Oh, where's this last fella? Where is he hiding? Oh, this guy. He's shaking. He knows what's coming. He's like, oh, I ain't gonna look. I ain't gonna look. Now he gets unstuck. There we go. Job well done. Wait, the more? <laughs> this fella. Surely his shield's gonna break soon. There we go. Good job. Good job. Okay, that did cost us a little bit. 23 killed is still a high price to pay. Oh, it's not over yet. Good job, my friends. Good job. So, we could hire people. Let's have a look. Who's who's horrible? No one really. Slave hunters, take them. Any man hunters here? They're always good to level up. So Grunwald the ca uh, castle is now ours, which is good news indeed. I've got people that have leveled up. I'm hoping the Kurgits will... Well, I really don't want to have to siege it again, but they ain't going to put as many troops in. Now I probably should make my way and take as much territory as I can. As soon as I regroup my forces and take what I can from the, the Rodox. I mean, that's all I can do with my time at the moment. Maybe go for Jumachi Castle and then just push around to Jalkella and start taking it that way, like anti-clockwise. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time.